Button down. Buttons. <laughs> All right, camera buttons. one, two, three, and four. By the way, if it looks like you guys are kind of bright, you're not. It's just a fucking okay. Bro, this setup right here. I'm like, I am so pale this in that is... camera. We look really no, no, like no, legit, right? Like hey, this looks so Check legit. One, two, it looks so legit. Who's going to go through all these memory Check cards? One, two, one, that's two. the real that, question. That's the, that's can the real VIP right there. Can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly. Okay, good. Do you edit all your episodes? Yeah, quick. Super fast. Oh like, we'll shoot it. He'll have God. it edited within less than 12 hours. Dang. Yeah. Can't relate. Can't relate. Can't relate, dude. Because you guys give it to somebody else, right? Yeah. How long does it take them? A long Good while. Path. A couple days. Yeah. We always have to pre-film pretty early. Yeah. Just to give them time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. It's always so interesting when like I hear other like people that do like podcasts and they're just kinda mm -hmm. like, Oh, this is how we do it and I'm just like, Really? Yeah. Every, everybody <laughs> has their own yeah. formula. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Everybody has their own gig with it. Exactly. Okay, let's start this. Did you put a cover on the buttons? Yeah, Tyler gave it to me. Wow, it's beautiful. Right? Yeah, it's, it's great. So, so cute. So basically you Major put this and, and you just you like- label it. Yeah, and then you just label like what? What are it? What are it all I don't know is. if we can get any more official. This is pretty legit, man. Right, like it's just every week it just elevates. It just keeps I want elevated. a flat screen. <laughs> 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 Do you guys not have this? You guys can't see yourself? It's Tyler can see it. Oh, all gotcha. Tyler, he kind of checks oh, yeah. it off. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. sees us all. Oh, okay. I like to look at myself though. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, you guys can't look at it yourself, huh? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, over here at La Platica headquarters, we got you covered yeah. on that. Oh, right. Look at this headquarters. All, right. headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. Welcome everybody to another episode of <laughs> La Platica. Today we have something super special, and we have two special guests. But before I get into that, let's just remind you that we are on Sh Shopify, Shopify <laughs> Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. I have a very new host. His name's Josh Leva. You can find us at Instagram at the Josh Leva and I said us now for our two new guests here, the new chapter of La Platica. We have Manny MUA and Laura Lee. Everybody give it up. Woo! so gagged at your voice <laughs> that's the main reason we wanted you guys to wear headphones because we were like Just you guys can't you have to hear it <laughs> exactly we had no idea that was happening I had no, not a clue that was really that was cool great. dude i know we're gonna Did like, you like that? it was I sexy loved it. it was sexy dude. okay good it was very hot i was a little turned on yeah same. It, it felt like a horror movie. <laughs> it did. I, I was Emphasize into the horror. I was into it. Yeah, the horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> Here at La Platica headquarters, we do things like that. Yeah. Is that what it is? That's what we is do. that what it is? I'm so excited to, it, to be guys. here. Yeah. By the way. Yeah. Well, by the way, thank you so much for you know being a part of La Platica. I mean, seriously, uh, we've known you guys for so so long already. Forever. And Forever. The fact that we hit you up what like last week and we were like, yeah. hey, you guys want to be on La Platica? Manny and Laura were like, yeah, yeah. let's do it. Duh. Like that. Wait, you it's... guys have to come on our podcast. Yes. Please. Yes. 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 That, super that would down. be amazing. I'd be super grateful. I don't. Uh, yes. I don't know if people know, but they're like literally right next door. <laughs> they're like right there. The next so, room. Yeah. In the rooms look completely different yeah so. they're different worlds yeah. it's okay literally it's a completely different universe at this point yeah like, our room is so like completely different than this one what would you say the vibe is here um this is man cave madness. i was gonna say man cave 100 i love it it's mm -hmm. such a vibe give him the voice bro give him the voice you want the voice give him the voice here at La Platica, we actually have the best man cave <laughs> next to Laura Lee and M.U.N. It literally is a man cave in here. And yeah. the fact that you guys have a mini fridge, like that that's the is best man cave. Part. That's my favorite part of this whole room. Loaded with sodas. Loaded yeah. with it sodas. Is. They're going to be missing a few Dr. Peppers. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, Laura's going to sneak you're, in here. You're, uh, you're talking a little bit too soon at the moment. Oh, am I? Yeah, yeah I Do got you. Do you drink regular Dr. Pepper or Dr. Pepper Zero? Uh, I like regular, but I also like Zero because I feel like Zero is so, 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 so close mm -hmm. to the regular. But you've tried it already, right? The Does Zero I have. Thing? Okay, good. Whenever identical. I did I the identical. Zero Gravity thing, yeah. it was for Dr. Pepper Zero. Oh, shit. Yeah, so I, the first time oh. I tried it, it was literally in the middle of the air because they wanted us to pour it out and like try to drink it in the air. That's the coolest story that's ever. Like, that's right? Cool. Experience. right? Not only the coolest story, but the coolest fucking like gig. Yeah. Seriously? Laura's just like, she's cool like that though. Like, Laura is just cool. So let me get this Sometimes. straight. You're literally in like, like floating. They're and literally, they, they took figured, them to outer space. They took, Whoa. they figured out how it's to out get a world. plane up and yeah. then just drop it out of the sky. And then you're like, in it. They padded the whole thing. So while it's dropping out of the sky and they do it like 15 times, they take you up straight up. So you just lay down and you're like suctioned to the sea and then they just let it drop out of the sky. And it's wow. like a 727, like a big ass plane. Was it messy? 
Very messy. I can see Because literally, messy. whenever the Dr. Pepper was in the air, when yeah. it went back down, it literally coated me. Oh, wow. Was so, it delicious? It, you know, it was. <laughs> it, it, was it. It. it was worth it. She it was living her Dr. Pepper fantasy. <laughs> yeah, literally. Exactly. Literally, I was literally. Out. In a plane? Yeah, exactly. Just like goals? Right? Did you have to like sign a contract or something? Like A lot. A mm. lot of paperwork. A lot of paperwork. That could be dangerous. Yeah, I felt like it could be. Yeah. I feel like it could be, but if, if any other brand asked me to do it, I probably would have said no, but it was like the only time Dr. Pepper wow. asked me to work with them. So I was like, you would have said yes to anything. Literally anything. Uh, have you guys anything. done skydiving? Have you done something Never. like that? No? Mm-hmm. I'm scared. I've, I've done scared. skydiving. You've yeah. done skydiving? Yeah. I'll do it once. I did it already. I don't think I'll do it again. Yeah. It's just not worth it. It's just really? like, no, it's too much. I can't. I'm it's just not worth it. it. I don't think I know, it's worth it. I think this scares <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, it's terrifying. Is it? Like, yeah. I mean, once you're like out of the plane, I've done it twice. I mean, like there's this nothing you can do so you might as well just enjoy it uh, I guess. yeah uh the first time i did it i did it in a superman outfit which was pretty <gasps> badass okay that's wow. kind of everything yeah okay yeah if you're gonna do okay. it do it with a cape outfit. and everything all right wow yeah oh. except where, that i was like straddled I, I have it it's like i'll, I'll, get, I'll send it to you yeah. so uh because you have to do a tandem so it kind of like ruins oh. the whole like fantasy of it wow. you know i expected it yeah. like, somebody's like literally right behind they're holding you, you. they're holding you did you put it on like this yeah it's like this right Suddenly we see Manny skydiving. I'm like, I love that. <laughs> Josh, like, this is not how it was planned. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have to like mask him on Final Cut Pro? Like, did, yeah, did he he just, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I kept him in it. I okay. kept him in it. Uh, <laughs> he deserved it. He, he wouldn't sign it. off on yeah. masking him out. <laughs> He's like, I want to be in this, bro. But I do have a Dr. Pepper for you. I, I actually went like before I got here. I was like, she doesn't fuck with Cokes. I mean, you do fuck mm. with Coke Zero and Dr. If Zero. I, if I have to. Yeah. If but, I have nah, to. Nah, we don't got to worry about that. Okay. Let's not stress about wow. it. I'll, I'll wow. I'll get you your soda after the break. When's the last time you got me a soda? Yeah, Manny. You know, I get a lot of happiness. <laughs> <laughs> I, get, I give her happiness and that's okay. what really matters, okay. you know? So that, it's okay. an even trade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty even. <laughs> that's true. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in again to La Platica. Estás escuchando La Platica. And I'm just like so excited to be a part of this again. We're going to probably post this on Thursday, to be right honest away. with you. We'll yeah. Yeah. Oh it's going in. It's going Yeah, it's yeah going we're quick like that. We're going to be all over TikTok, Instagram. Oh, everywhere. so you're like, wait, this, this isn't it. like your first episode. Like This together, is technically right? my, oh, like. Together on La Platica, it's yeah, like your wife. fifth, third, sixth third. Yeah. Okay. episode. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But as six. the official host, yeah. this we're, third. We're, we're third going strong right now. Wow. Yeah, and do you guys like block shoot it too? You do a couple episodes like Damn. back to back. Uh, we try to, yeah, yeah, and if yeah. not, we'll just do like a couple like. Um, but we actually recently asked our audience like, we're just tired of waiting because we post every Monday at seven p.m. Uh-huh. PST. Uh huh. AM, AM actually. Yeah. AM Eastern um, time. Yes. Yeah. And uh, we just said, you know what? Like, I'm just kind of tired of waiting seven another seven days for another episode. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna do one on Monday and one on Thursday morning. Do you guys just do one a week? We do one a we week. We do one a week. You know, yeah. we're when just you, like, you that, we, it, it triggered me a little. <laughs> we just got <laughs> shook. It, it no, did no, no, trigger it, me. It, it, it's okay. I'm just saying, like, for us, it's like, we're just twiddling our fucking thumbs at home. Might as well film. <laughs> I, I, I want to get here. here. I want to film the next yeah. episode. Right. There's like so many things to talk about, so many guests to have. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, happening like, all yeah. the time. All yeah. the time. No, I love it. I, lo- I wish that we could do twice. I sometimes. wish. I really like, like that do. would be our goal. That's why we look to each other like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That yeah. That would be amazing. That would you guys be do an incredible job at your guys' podcast, yes. though. Like, you yes. guys you. absolutely crush it. I want to know you guys is like, how do you guys go about like starting a podcast? I mean, as far as like like the topics and stuff that you guys are going to do, I've like peeked over you guys' room because I'm just so curious. And I see you guys have like a whiteboard yeah. no yes. notes and some yes. of that snack we'll bar like, yeah snack <laughs> bar <laughs> we do all true all true no, this is not a lie Josh like can I take some chips I'm like it's not your snack bar bro I, I, you're I not a guest you're not here chip. yet you're not have, full coverage yet you guys can have all the snacks yeah no but we always talk about like just like the camaraderie the everything that you guys have obviously yeah. you guys have been friends for so long but just like you guys just make it work and I think it's perfect so because effortless. like yeah it's effortless exactly Josh and it's just like but I feel like that's exactly what you guys are too. Yes, because like, okay. you guys have been yes. friends for so long. That's why, yeah. like, when you even I remember you told me it like, works. oh, I asked Josh to be part. I was like, oh my god, that's amazing because I love the How idea perfect. of it doing works. like a bestie part. Yeah, because it just yeah. flows. Yeah. yeah, it just makes sense. It's so real and natural in conversation. Yeah, that it's like even for us, like when we're like let's say we're picking a topic, 
depending on what we're talking about, like, let's say, we like these episodes where we do these, like, rapid fire things. We talk okay. about things happening in, like, the world and pop culture and social media and things like that. And that'll be a, an entire episode dedicated to it. And then we'll do another episode, usually, we'll block shoe. And then we'll do one that's a little bit less time sensitive. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. gotcha. That's more like... So, like, we did, like, Instagram versus TikTok. Or, I like, saw a that one. Sit- that like so, that one. Yeah. Thank you. That was, like, our non-time sensitive. Yeah, and then yeah. anything we, that's pop culture. We actually culture, saw that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It moves so fast like, that we... Like, we saw just the one. one. <laughs> we saw just the one. one episode. <laughs> I'll never see. I will never watch it. again. <laughs> <laughs> I will never watch that episode again. Too many commercials. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he just triggered us. We get those, we get those, we get those, get those comments. We, we get a hundred percent. Really? Hundred percent. We're mad oh, wow. that we see those comments now. But the thing is, though, I'll be like, you guys just skip them. Right. If it's, yeah. if it's like if it's that yeah. crazy, yeah. yeah, yeah, like if it's yeah. like such a big issue enough to comment, be like, I just hate that. I'm like, just fast forward them because yeah, they're ingrained really in the video, easy. right? Like it's not like a YouTube pre roll. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 they're ingrained right. in the video itself. Yeah, they're but like, I also think like podcast. Eighty percent of people back at home, they know what's up. That's what having a podcast yeah. is all about. It's, yeah. it's, it's creating a revenue in a different uh, avenue. Ask, yeah, in a different mm-hmm. avenue. Like that's mm-hmm. what it is. Like if it just makes your podcast that much better. Totally, and you can continue to do it. Yeah, you invest in your podcast. Yeah, it's just another avenue of yeah revenue. Yeah. yeah, I love it. Are you guys getting ads on these here yet? Not yet. Not they're yet. Gonna, they're gonna start though. To. Yeah, we're, we're gonna double down. Get ready though. <laughs> well, yeah. I feel yeah. like, you guys, I feel like oh, you guys yeah. are on fire right now. Yeah. We are. Like, like I see shape. a lot happening. We are. We're Remember, shape. we I saw you guys at that uh, event, yeah. and I was like, guess what? We were so excited. You guys reply like the 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 first five people I told. Oh, they're like <gasps> my mother, <gasps> Karen. Things like that. Where you, this is where because we're neighbors, so it's like I need to tell them. You know. Yeah. 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 It was a. It was a special I was moment. So, I was so happy. We actually talked about on the car was. ride home. Yeah. We were like talking about how happy we were for you guys. Because yeah. yeah. you know, I wasn't, sure. I wasn't filming. It's really hard for me Dude. being by myself. I could imagine. Yes. It, there's yeah. not that much motivation. We have other things going on in my life, mm-hmm. like prior, me, Karen, like just regular life shit. Yeah. yeah. And it's hard to just be like, okay, who am I going to have next? Can't ask Karen because I can't ask her all the time. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Or like somebody, you, you'll have somebody on and then they'll flake last minute for whatever reason. It's yeah, totally mm-hmm. fine. Totally. Um, and then, they, they, you know, it just doesn't happen. So it's like, I need so somebody. Hard. And it was hard for me because I'm like, La Platica is mine. You know what I mean? Yes. But I'm like, fuck all that. Like, Josh is like my great friend. Like, I've yes. known him for years, literally yeah. years. And and like, you, like, just like you guys, you guys get along so well. You guys, you guys can talk all day. Yeah. yeah. And it's the same, really thing, with, it's the same mm-hmm. thing with me and Josh. Yeah. Like, exact same thing and once you find that chemistry with someone it's like definitely want to utilize it yeah you, know you don't want to let it go like yeah. you want to yeah. be able to like utilize it's it for rare. the future also we've had a lot of trauma together so we're pretty close trauma bonding oh, wow. trauma bonding yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah trauma will definitely something. bond you that, definitely yeah yeah for if, sure if, if the trauma and the trajectory if it doesn't break you apart it'll make you go together yeah, yeah that's wow. true and they're just brought us together even through a lot of trauma so you guys have a podcast is there anything else you guys do like joint because you guys each have your own separate YouTube no, channel, No, I think right? we just have the podcast, technically. Okay. Podcast. I think that's it. We'll, but, but, but we but, will but do more. We okay. will do more we'll together. We will do more. I think that because of, like, the success with full coverage, yeah. I think it's, like, opened up me and Laura's eyes to be like, why don't we do more? Yeah. 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 Like, do yeah. more together, do yeah. more opportunities. And, like, let's say let's say a show is, like, yo, I want you and Laura to do something, like, on our show. I'd be like, okay. Yeah. yeah, like let's fucking do it. We did recently get a very we did. That's interesting why. show. We'll tell you after like what show yeah, it is. The show? That wants no, us a, a on show it. Oh, gotcha. a show oh, pitch. Oh, wow. like, oh, we would love yeah. for you to be like a team. Wow, on show. It. and a we're team. like, yeah. We're like, Man. I don't know. Is it in a, <laughs> well. Playing hard again. American show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a popular. very popular American show. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're used to it? being on shows. I've done, I've only done one. What show? I don't no, know. He swears. I'm technically doing Snapchat He's on TV. Show. Okay, you're right. I, count you're, that. you're right. I count that yeah. as Okay, a you're show. right. So I, 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 I just did the show. I filmed it last year. It's called Surreal Life. Okay. And it was like a show from like the early 2000s. And it's basically like where eight different celebrities from different walks of life come together and live in a house together. Oh, wow. So it was me, mm-hmm. Tamar Braxton, Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman. Frankie yes. Muniz. Yeah. Like just, Frankie Muniz? Yes, just like literally so random from different, like CJ Perry, who's like a wrestler. Yeah. You know, just different. Which I've fallen Cena. in love with CJ. CJ's amazing. She's Incredible. A, she was, a, or she is a WWE w- female wrestler. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know she is. And we've gotten so close with her. Wait, she yeah. recently took that's a trip. Yeah, that's why you guys went, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And that's her how husband we did it. was wrestling. Yeah, wow. that's awesome. So, is the show out? No, it comes out, I think, at the end of this year. 
Whoa, where? Yeah, yeah. on it's either gonna be on VH1 or MTV. So either that's one gonna of those. That's gonna be crazy. That sounds like a great show. I feel like I mean honestly, was it, was this, it, it was an experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The shit that happened. No, like, yeah. I, I filled in Laura like so much about like the whole situation because it's just like really, really, really hard to live in a house with eight, seven other people that have like big personalities. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. When you're literally there for three weeks for 21 days. Mm. Did some crazy shit go down? Yes. Yeah. I, sure. I feel like I literally was so overwhelmed so many times. I would like kind of escape like the bathroom just to yeah. like have a reprieve because you're filmed 24 wow. 7 there's cameras in your room you're mic'd at all times like it's that would be constant. so hard so it's like i always felt like i always had to be like a little bit aware of everything yeah. all the wow. time wow and then you don't get to control it right like you oh, just no. get to see what comes out and then i'm just praying did you have to point, warn anybody like yo this might come out this something there was some, a there was a like a moment with a, with a castmate though okay because i did talk about a castmate off of camera mm-hmm. not realizing that the bathrooms had uh microphones in them because they didn't have they didn't tell they you they didn't have no they said in the contract, like, no, Hold on, what no if you're cameras, taking a nasty dump? Dead ass. They're Exploding filming that it? shit. No, like, not, I didn't. No. no, but it's like, so. They'll it's, just, they'll just the, blur it out. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I, no, but, hopefully they don't put it on the show. Please, <laughs> God. No, literally, because they had said, like, oh, there won't be, there's no cameras, of course, in there. So I'm like, I assumed that they'd be, we'd be fine. Yeah. But I found out that there was microphones at the top of, oh, like, the thing. Oh, dirty. No. And I was like. So I, I went and told the cast, and I was like, sick. yo, listen. That's sick. I fully just like went in on you. <laughs> I was thinking mad shit, oh, talking mad shit. shit. With, with, another, with one of like my, the other castmates, I went in and I was talking to them about like stuff that, I was like, oh, this is where they're from, blah, blah, blah. And I said the whole story. I was kind of just, it was just cheese, man. I wasn't like going crazy. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. just cheese, man, though, you know? Got so you. I was like talking to them about it. And then I was like, okay. <laughs> Let me go ahead and let them know that I'm like, hey. How cringy that you had to walk up to them be like, no, I, I did. Just went I literally off went you. downstairs. I was like, hey, I kind of like just like went in on you. And but, they were recording that whole thing. Mm-hmm. Well, they were recording when you said that. Yeah, when you like confessed. When you, you confessed. No, I went, so I went to his bathroom and I was like, hey, put like the, the no a towel oh. on the microphone, put that like faucet on just so we can talk about this situation because it was a big situation that happened to him that was outside of the show. And and he I obviously he knows that he like didn't want it to time? be in, in real time. It was happening. It was, no, it was happening like in the past. It happened in the past. Oh. Got it. And he didn't want. I don't think he wanted it to be on the show. Got oh. it. And so I of course was like, okay, of course I'm aware of that. I'm gonna go in the bathroom and talk about it. No, I would no, Manny be the one telling that somebody else about what happened in the past? Yes, Manny. Manny like spilled the fucking beans. <laughs> Come on. So then I went up to him, I was like, Actually, that makes a great talked, TV. That I talked That's about it. And he's like, No, bro, it's all good. Was it a big situation? Like yes, it, so it was, it was like, so big. Yeah, yeah. So I it was mean, a big. It was like almost it. like not what he's known for. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. I, know, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to say too much, but it's. I'll tell you. I'll, I'll okay, okay. Would you go I'll back like, on a show like that? They paid me a lot of money. Really? Ooh. I got paid a lot of money for it. Wow. So that's kind of what was my incentive to do it. And yeah. it was a different vertical for me. Yeah. I was like, okay, I'm excited. Yeah. So I think now that I've done it, I don't know if it would be something I wanted to do. So how much would they pay me? That yeah. part. There it is. Yeah. That part. It's just, it, you guys, it's hard. But it's you're like, not it's hard looking to leave your forward to do it. But yeah. you're not looking yeah, forward to doing that. No, again, I'm not like right. looking forward, forward to doing like a three weeks. But if the price was right, yes. Maybe I would for the price is right. But three weeks. I feel like weeks? that's with anything, though. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So I guess we won't oh, talk to a really cool experience. Yeah. yeah. Like, I got asked to do Love Island, and I actually went through the whole like audition process, and I, I got so that. close. And they like put me in a hotel where you like kind of isolate yourself from everybody and stuff like that. Um, and I thought that would have been a cool experience. I didn't, we didn't talk money, so I don't know what they would have paid me, but yeah. I was, so what ended up happening? Did so what happened? I just, I decided not to do it. Okay. Why? I, not to, yeah. I don't know, I just wasn't, I don't know, I don't know. No, I feel, trust me, I feel you. It's, it's Wait, weird not controlling your Island stuff. Is Love Island the one where the girl like picks you if you come out? Or no, no? sort of. Kind of. Love, L- Love Island is the one where it's like, first you pick somebody. It's a random somebody, show, yeah. You but like, then, you kind of but then like, somebody. like say like me and Manny fall in love, and then like we really like each other. They, yeah. We, we, <laughs> we, I didn't see that. No, I didn't see that. Like, say we really like each other, right? And then um, the show will put me on a date with like you or Josh. <gasps> yeah. To, to fuck me. To, to fuck it up. Bit. Yeah. And then uh, you know yeah. things can happen. Maybe we just hook up. Maybe we don't like each other, but we just hook up. Hook anyway. up a little bit, like a little hook up. Yeah. But okay. if you hook up, you <laughs> lose money up. for the whole team. <gasps> oh, that's no, 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 that's that's not that's not no, it's not that one. That's a different one. Um, oh, there's no money. I think it's just about ending up with like a couple at the end, and then somebody, and then people vote. I'm thinking about the audience votes, and whoever has like the most votes as a couple, they win the whole show. Yeah. Yeah. But apparently. There's like, there's a UK one. That's the one that started. It started that's in the UK, and the that one's the most of. popular one. That's the one. Okay. I know. And the one they wanted me to do was like the US, and it was like their first season, second season. So, so it just wasn't. Like, I was like, you're it. like, I need at least five seasons. I need five <laughs> seasons. Y'all need to prove yourself. <laughs> yeah. And so how much money? We don't have to talk about it right now, but you guys might do that show. Maybe the one that you're talking about. Yes. It, you guys, we literally got the email like four days ago. Yeah. So it's so up in the air right now. It is. But like, if they it's, were to be like, yo, like 
absolutely let's interview for it and like we want you i think we would do it we would do it yeah we I, would go for it 100 but is this show nearby or do you have to travel we'd be gone traveling for a month traveling for a, a month, month. Four weeks. a month what about tyler four weeks what about tyler <laughs> what about tyler don't try to get her out of this <laughs> don't try to talk her out of this <laughs> what about tyler your ass. <laughs> tyler is gonna be watching the house Gorgeously, uh, he's gonna be golfing every day. Literally, he'll live. Sebastian's like, please do that fucking yeah. show, bitch. Please Literally. do that show. Tyler's probably like, so are you gonna go or not? Because I got shit to book. Yeah, Literally, <laughs> I book my trips. Tyler was like, you should go to that plant store with Karen on Sunday. And I said, are you golfing with Sebastian? He's like, I want to, man. Oh, that's it. <laughs> yeah, we just got off the phone recently. Yeah. Yeah. I love that's it. So funny. That's so funny. Yeah, we would do it. So you guys being co-hosts and stuff like that, how did that actually happen? Like, how did full coverage actually start? That's a like, great question. Like, I don't think like the who's word. the one that said, like, let's start a podcast and then give us, like, tips and, you know, like... Tips and tricks. Tips Do's and, and tricks, tricks on how to be a great co-host. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because, like, mm-hmm. you guys are always doing it together. Yes. You know, uh, how can we keep... This is new for me and the Josh. Momentum. Yeah. How are we going to keep the momentum, positive attitude? How do we just, not get sick of each other? Yeah. Do you guys get sick of each other? Not really. Actually, we don't. We That's don't. Actually the cool part about it. How long have you guys been friends? Seven years? Yeah, I think it's oh, okay. seven years. So about the same. Seven years. Yeah. 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 And you're both very chill, so that's already that that's already bonus. Well. If there's any Got wild it. behavior and one's like really yeah. erotic or like crazy, there's I don't know. Be I think Josh be. is kind of erotic. I'm pretty fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> Erotica. Erotica. <laughs> <laughs> no, but so I feel like so starting the podcast. Who start? Who, who? I don't even know how this came to be. Quite honestly, yeah. I remember started us just having together, conversations. Right? It was like a joint thing already. It was a joint jump. thing. Yeah. Okay. So we started it immediately together. It wasn't like oh, yeah. I started full coverage and then Laura started full coverage. It was like we both were like, should we do a podcast? Mm-hmm. I remember us seeing we had saw other like podcasts that had two people in it. Mm-hmm. And I remember like talking to other friends. I mean, like I kind of want to do a podcast like with Laura and you know us kind of having that idea come about yeah and we're the type of people that are very like go getter yeah mm-hmm. so it's like if we find something that we like and we want to do like we'll do it i feel ambitious. like we're very ambitious yeah. we're very ambitious people and i think that's like a testament to our friendship as well like we're very like keep each other accountable keeping them i would them say better. out of like the group in la we're two of the ones who have only stayed on youtube right i mean for a lot of time. beauty people too yeah, yeah mm-hmm. like the in beauty comparison. space i would mm-hmm. say like a lot have quit not meaning they're not ambitious you know they've yeah. been they're ambitious in other areas yeah but, but just doing different but, yeah. things yeah mm-hmm. are you guys still active on your own personal youtube channel mm-hmm. yeah. yeah cool wow so, i upload yeah. twice a week he's a, so once or twice twice a week Watch twice a week mm-hmm. and then i have a vlog channel upload on and then mm-hmm. full coverage flex wow. on them flex on them yeah, yeah. So and, no, all, yeah. Yeah. and it all does platforms. very well yeah exactly thank yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. it all does thank very you. well that is actually a really funny point because i love your tiktoks Oh, um, thank you. That's, that's what I was gonna thank say. You. That's what I was gonna say. You guys, you both of you guys are like really heavily on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and I, I like you're it. really consistent now, on it. Now like, I yeah. feel like I'm trying to be more like us both. I feel we're like we're actually yeah. becoming more like I'll try to do like five a week now. Yeah, I try five to do, a week. I TikTok. try to do wow. at least upload on it every single day, mm-hmm. and then Instagram I've kind of burned out on. Like Same I'm kind of like I'm that. transitioning Same. right now. I'm kind of transitioning off Instagram and a little more on TikTok. What are your thoughts about making a TikTok and then just copy pasting it to Reels? That's kind of what I That's do. That's literally what I do. That's yeah, right. All we like, do. Who cares, I multi-purpose right? Multi-purpose my content. Like, mm-hmm. I'm so done some people, with like doing... some people, will be like, no, it's not for reels. But um, to me, yeah, I'm like, 100%. I don't care. If Just it try it. Out, I never know what's gonna hit. Share on TikTok. Yeah. Like, share it to reels. Yeah. 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 That's like the formula I've come to realize. I'm like, if it's fav- there's it or favorite. Fav- if it's favorited a lot and it's shared a lot, it's gonna probably it has on TikTok. Reels. Yeah. So if if it's shared or favorited a lot, that means you want to post it over to your reels because it's gonna get a hit. But you have to get like favorites count for less. Like you have to have more favorites. More shares. You need more shares. What would you say? I would say you need more shares. Than favorites. Than favorites. Oh, we're talking you about on really? TikTok. On the TikTok. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. When it comes to like TikTok. So that's how you know which ones are going to perform on Instagram. You go look at your gotcha. favorites and shares on oh. TikToks. And your ones that were shared the most and favorited the most, those are the ones you want to we'll push over to yeah. Instagram. Yeah. That's, that's a really good point. That's the I'm, formula. I'm look that up. And I like your guys' TikToks too because it's just like shit that you guys kind of make popular. Like it's like... I don't care. I'm just gonna even say a couple words and then that's it. You yeah. know? Yeah. You don't really go with the trends. Like I kind of catch myself doing a lot of like TikToks when I was doing a couple months ago. Mm-hmm. Where it was like, all right, well, what's everybody what's doing? What's right the now? trending one? I'll yeah, do, yeah. do a trending one. But like, right. yeah. yeah, we can do those too, right? Yeah. Totally. But at the same time, you guys like kind of brainstorm. What can I do? Just I'm gonna be the only one doing it, or like mm-hmm. you know, you come up with like little like um, skits or whatever. Yeah. yeah. You know? That's yeah. what I like about it. I feel like that's actually a big like part of like me like re- reinvigorating my own like content and, like my social media presence is like i'm enjoying the like skits and like the funny thing and like yeah. i love beauty and i love beauty forever but that's like not all i, I think do. that's also was part of our connection is like beauty was so like 
beauty driven and yes. they were yeah. a little more personality based a little yeah. more quirky a little, gotcha. little, yeah a little gotcha. more i don't know it just wasn't ever that serious and we've always done like really dumb shit on yeah. our instagram mm-hmm. and stuff before there was tiktok <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. we've always posted funny shit yeah and that's because we're more youtube driven i think than most Got people it. like that's yeah. always yeah. been and on that pop, point. yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. The focal point. so you're gonna be more a little more personality driven yeah. we weren't always the like slave bad yeah i was never a baddie I like was that's never not my journey so, so i don't believe you guys don't believe you guys. No, I, I feel like you guys are like you. They're lying. We're IG baddies. baddies right now. No, we're not bad. Like, I feel like IG baddies no. is such a specificness in IG baddie. Yeah. You define an IG baddie. Yeah, what, what quality? Karen's, Karen's an IG baddie. Karen. You think Karen's, Karen's an IG baddie? Karen? 100%. I think she's an IG baddie. Like, she's like, she dominates. She's a baddie, but she's an IG baddie. There's also tears to this, right? There's she tears to this. She's such a baddie. But a lot of IG baddies aren't top tier like you. Right. Laura, Karen. Yes. Yeah. There's top tier influencers. Yeah. No, but she like but she's a top tier IG baddie. She is. Got it. For example, Mike, like she does so well. The Karen like, beautiful invented, slay, <laughs> stunning photos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, always looking pristine. Like that yeah. is. And that's what people want to see from her. Like yeah, they, they, like they want to mm-hmm. see her slay because she does it really, really well with the outfits, whether it's hair, she's professional. Makeup. At it. Like, she's she's so good. So yeah. good at it. We went to the optometrist the other day and <clears throat> she was filling out some paperwork and she was like, what, what's my occupation? I said, put IG baddie. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Yeah. Put IG baddie. Yeah, put IG baddie. Yeah. IG baddie. Yeah. Instagram baddie. baddie. No, just IG. Yeah. IG yeah. baddie. <laughs> or like, or like I, I'll fill it out and be like, because I don't, I don't really, like, what, do, what, what am I, right? Like there's so many things that we yeah, do as, right. as yeah. creators. Yeah. So like it's it's easy for me to put whatever I want because yeah. it is what pick it is. One. You can pick Literally one. Anything. You put IG yeah. Batty too. No, I'll just Podcaster. be like, yeah, <laughs> I'm Podcast like podcaster. <laughs> <laughs> what do you Tip. guys put for occupation? That's really interesting. Um, I put CEO because for my Ooh, makeup yeah. business though. I also do CEO I don't even as well. bring up the YouTube put, thing. It's always like I own a business. Uh huh. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Oh, I always put entrepreneur or CEO. We run a business. That's all we do. Because we do though. We also have makeup lines. But we leave the social media. Yeah. out of it completely. Yeah. I'm going to put C-O-O, comma, O-O-O. Yeah. Yeah. Bowling out here. Yeah. <laughs> We're bowling. Exactly. exactly. No, but I love it. If I really want to get light, I put marketing. I'm into marketing. That's what I, I, that's what I put. Know? I put social media marketing. Yeah. 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 That's the one that Karen won't social be mad at me about, yeah. social media marketing. Yeah. 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 I'll be like, I'm a TikToker right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> YouTuber. I do OnlyFans. Bounce around. Yeah, yeah. Do you have an OnlyFans? No, I don't. I'm totally fucking around. Do you want to start an OnlyFans? No. No? Not I feel really. like it's so acceptable nowadays. I know. It's 100%. Like, it's I mean, cool. Absolutely. What if Power we did to one you. together? Laura. <laughs> <laughs> now listen. You guys don't gotta go like, like what everybody does. Just like, yeah. we can do our, it's maybe, like Patreon. It's like just you can do dumb with ass pictures of us. It's nothing, like people are so mad when they yeah. say. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you guys dress up, dress up like anime or something? No, literally, mm, we'll cosplay. cosplay. That'd we'll actually be, be pretty cosplayer. cool. Yeah. I like how they try to pitch us sometimes. Like it's more than just like I don't know, explicit no. content. <laughs> it's it's like cooking content. It's like no, yes. it's not. Nobody's posting cooking no. content on OnlyFans. No, got it. Yeah. Or paying attention to it. Exactly. Like, everyone's yeah. going to OnlyFans for one yeah. thing. I recently yeah. discovered OnlyFans is not an app. It's a website. Yeah. Right. Why yeah. is it not an app? I, I don't know. It's weird. There's, there's rules with apps when it comes. I was trying to look at be like on the Apple Store and all that stuff. Like yeah, it connects to Snapchat though, right? Oh, does it? And to Google and to Twitter. Yeah, I think it connects to Snapchat. Sure. I wouldn't know. But I think there's like weird rules when it comes to apps, though, when yeah. it comes to like sexual content. In yeah. Weird way. yeah. And, like, and I was trying to it. look at somebody's stuff and I couldn't oh, download it. Yeah, I know. The I remember. App. Yeah. Because oh. these we had to girls go the be advertising. So I'm like, let me just pay a dollar and see what they're posting. Yeah. So I'm curious. Yeah. I'm curious how Same. far it goes. What was she advertising that you wanted just to see like so on bad? On Twitter, like literally like scandalous pictures. Oh. So I'm like, is there, are they really crazy on the But like it's people that you followed for a while. Yes. Oh, God. So like, what are you doing? Yeah. yeah, I'm nosy. I, I, I get nosy all, too. All the people that I like follow that yeah. like, I started OnlyFans, I'm like, let me You have to go. I'm like, let me investigate. I'm like, this. Yeah. I need to know immediately. It's, and sometimes it's like private, so you only see like their captions that they write. Yes. And it's like all the water signs and make it all like. Right. All sexual. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, do I really have to buy a photo too? I know. <laughs> no. hey, wow. Three months free though. Do they do that? Do they do no, that? No, I, I think I've, that depends I've on the creator. I've seen a couple and I think it's, yeah, like, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever we get a three months free, we're deep diving on these hosts. A hundred percent. We're going in. I, I was actually telling Laura, I was like, we should do a OnlyFans episode. Or we talk, like, a yes. deep, deep dive on do OnlyFans. A deep yeah. Dive. Like how it got created, everything about it. Like yeah. we do yeah. like a, a research on it. That would be a good episode for you guys too. Yeah. Because the men's world would love that shit. Mm-hmm. Who's hey. killing it in the men's world I have on no OnlyFans? I have is no it, idea. Is it, what's his name? That guy who was on a reality show, is it Harry? Harry. Harry. 
great. Yeah. He's doing great on OnlyFans. I, I think love. I saw like a clip on TikTok where he was talking about like he's like the number one male. He definitely has like a ton Only of subs. Fans. I've seen like his OnlyFans too. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. He doesn't like go nude, but he's does not, he? No, he's not the type that's like <laughs> posting nude shit and me. Yeah. He's the type okay. that's like you Implied. can subscribe for free and you can okay. like buy different things. What does he post? Like shirtless, like really like thoughty shirtless. Okay. Photos. I could do that. Be, before totally before we get into that, that, we gotta go on a commercial really quick. Okay, okay. <gasps> 30 minute mark, commercial, commercial time. You. We'll be right back. <laughs> Very sweet of you. Oh, I spill it everywhere. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it shoots out. I was in Dr. Pepper Heaven when we were in Florida. Imagine I shake it before. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, got you, bitch. And you don't even I roll the camera. Covered. You just do it just in the Did you take the picture? <laughs> <laughs> we're just snakes. Imagine just bad Savage. friends. Wow. Um. So we were, like we were saying, we were actually going through you guys' videos, and I. We, we heard something that we were really interested in. And, oh. Um, you asked Laura Lee about like, I think it was Laura, L Laura's um, anniversary or something. And you asked her about joining the Mile High Club. Oh. oh. We d I did. Yeah. yeah. I did. And I remember that. I think she said no. She I did. did. <laughs> I did. But Manny, you seem super interested. Would you be doing something like that? <laughs> Are you going to partake in the Mile High Club anytime soon? Okay, tonight? you know, okay, you guys, this is the thing. When I was in like my early twenties, I okay. was very like thoughty. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. And I was Same. very like promiscuous in yeah. like different ways. And wow. if you asked me back then, I totally would. Now, depending on who it was, I still would. But mm -hmm. but it would depend. On okay. a like, I'm not as like on a commercial plane. <gasps> On Delta. It's gotta be a Delta. commercial plan. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, where else? PJs don't count. Yeah, on PJs Delta, count. Yeah, like DL197, you would do that. <laughs> it depends on like, who they are. Like, if they're fine as hell and, like, they're, like, totally wanting me to do it, yeah. I think I would. Just to say that I did. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost like for that experience. Wow. wow. But I'm also, like, literally single. So, like, like live my life, you know, like, yeah. whatever. Live, Those laugh, love. Bathrooms are tiny. Tiny. That's the problem. See, I think They're I can so only. I, can, I think like, I, can, I barely fit in it. I think like I can only like suck dick in there only. Like, <laughs> yeah. like honestly, that's only I can do in there. How the fuck would you even bend over? Well, I'd be sitting on the toilet while they're standing. Oh my god! I've already, already thought of it, you guys. I've already thought of it. I didn't even. Think I'd be like sitting back, you know. Oh my god! That's you all, have. How else? How else? If I'm like here, you they're deep standing dived between. into this. I've, I've thought many a thoughts. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, and then you woke up, huh? Because you were sleeping. And then the reality set in, yeah. yeah. I was oh like, my oh my God. God. <laughs> you were on a flight. <laughs> that was fun. That was crazy. You guys were getting like, what the jail right now. <laughs> <laughs> you're just wearing denim jeans. You're like, like, And you're in the middle seat. Like, just <laughs> <laughs> in the middle seat. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, hey, guys. He's sorry. in seat 42C <laughs> in the back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maddie yeah. looks to his left, and the guy's just like. <laughs> absolutely. And he's just absolutely not. Just yeah, no yeah, way. Yeah, right? But also, like, I'm never, like, next to someone fine. I got yeah. a plane. Mm. That never happens to no, me. No, no. I'm not like next mm. to like some hot daddy. Have you, either of you joined the Mile High Club? No. 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 no wow. Not yet. I would, but though. I'm down. But Absolutely I don't know about down. commercial. Like yeah. with me and Karen? A oh, yeah. commercial? I, commercial? Fuck no. I mean, unless you're first class, maybe it changes it up a little bit. It's, a, it's still hard, though, because the seats are still like separate. Yeah. And the, and the bathroom's still I mean, the exact same, same size. size. You know how they have like the cubicles on like certain ones? Yeah. yeah, yeah sure. Because like yeah. there's, there's like a little door. That's what I'm saying. You can kind yeah. of snuggle. I yeah. Like going to Abu Dhabi. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. I've flown some planes where it's a little close by. You yeah. might get a little upsy downsy yeah. by somebody. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. definitely yeah. happens in those. For, yeah. for yeah. sure. For sure. For sure. And it was hot to next to me and he was like, yo, like, I'd be like, I. And that counts, right? Is it worth a $40,000 plane ticket though? I'm going to say, yeah. Is that much? They're like 25 to 40,000. Super crazy crazy ones my yeah. god Joking. you better get something yeah. for that jesus yeah. <laughs> i've actually flown emirates just on regular business mm -hmm. very grateful wow. for that wow very, very wow. grateful for that oh. and, and, and then they just be like hey um do you want us to make you your bed and i'm like what <laughs> Make me They're my like, bed. Yeah, you know how they have that little sailor hat like it's yes. in the navy and, it's like yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, then, and then there's like uh you know i don't know Yes. There's like a veil on it or something like that. Mm -hmm. And they're like, hey, would you like us in their accent? And I'm just like, yeah. And like, they literally lay it flat. Like, they tuck you oh, in. They literally, tuck you in? They tuck you in. <gasps> what Give the you a little fuck? kiss. Yeah. <laughs> 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 on the forehead. <laughs> Welcome to Emirates. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. We want to make it really special yeah. for you. They take off your shoes and shit. Yeah. And like, what if they thought you were fine? 
They probably did. Like, I mean, what, what if they were like, Karen was let us know if you need anything. <laughs> so you and Karen flew Emirates? Yeah. yeah. To Dubai. And you guys didn't even film the plane? Why didn't That's you? That's a YouTube video. Yeah, it was. I flew in a 40,000 plane. Or but I it wasn't the 40,000 one. It was probably like 15. Um, That's get, Emirates, Per though. person? Yeah, That's still it, wild. That's clickbait. Uh, it, it is wild. Yeah. But yeah, we should have. You should have. I took an IG yeah. pic. And then, and then my IG baddie took a pic too. Of course, of course. And I, it was stunning. Yes. Stunning. That photo was perfect. I think we titled stunning. our episode with Karen Life what's of an, life as, an yeah, IG, IG Baddie. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes, we oh. literally titled yeah. that li- What's Life, life as, as an, an IG yeah. Baddie. That makes sense. Yeah. How was Did you guys Karen? have her on the podcast? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. How was she on the podcast? Amazing. So good. Yeah. What was so it? good. This was a while ago? Yeah, uh, two I'll months ago. Two months ago. Yeah, oh, sure. yeah. definitely say a couple months ago for sure. But she was great. Yeah. Absolutely great. And you know, sometimes you don't know. Because IG baddies. Yeah, yeah. Because a lot of times, like, they don't have a ton of personality. Like, I've met so many that mm-hmm. are like, oh, God, oh, you're are cool. You but Karen has so much personality. It just yeah. like, it flowed perfectly. Perfectly. Yeah, even when she's on here. It's, We've actually learned from her because she's so good at, like, engaging with the oh, camera. Just gosh. making it seem like she's just talking to the yeah. audience. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's great. Yeah, she's good at that. Well, especially if you're used to, like, talking, like, on YouTube. Yeah, you're just, like, yeah, literally yeah. looking at the camera. the camera. And yeah. it's so true because I've been on so many trips, obviously, with you guys. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, you meet these people that are like IG baddies slash mm. big influencers who talk a lot, who fucking say so many things. Yeah. And when you meet them in real life, it's just like, hey, are you okay? Talk. Are you yeah. Alive? Yeah. They're they're so Why is they're that? so like yeah. introverted and turned off. It's, it's so odd. Weird. It's it weird. is weird. It's, it's, it's weird. So weird. Yeah. It's weird. So they're really just doozies. putting on doozies. for the camera like that. Yes. What? Lo- it's either that or just they're intimidated by other oh, people that are just like that. Social anxiety because when yeah. you're filming on your own, there's like nobody with you. Right. It's kind of like yeah, but it's social anxiety like something that will benefit you i don't think so it's something you should work on because it's yeah. like yeah. you're you're on right. these trips not only because you're like hired for uh, from the brand to mm-hmm. like create content and have an amazing time because they're always amazing times yeah. mm-hmm. but it's like this is your opportunity to network with other influencers yeah. Yeah, exactly. and just exactly. like get way better connections yeah, yeah, yeah. totally it's crazy because you create this persona about being like this big Person. Per- person and then like you're not you show the world all, how you're this big yeah. person oh, yeah. and you show this how you act yeah. and then so it's kind of like a lot different i don't know it's it crazy because it's, 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 it's sometimes i feel like it backfires because they might have social anxiety but then they come across like a dick yeah you know oh my god yes. they're not yes. trying to be mean yes. but, but they don't know how that to happens interact so with much people. in the industry yes. that happens yeah. all the time because people are like well i see how you act online and then you're a dick to me yeah you know yeah. What it's not that they were they were just like they didn't know how to interact it's also hard when they're younger though too because like they haven't like when you get the fame early, you don't learn these like social skills, social skills yeah. that people like that would have, true. you know, as later on, like, yeah. you know, I was in the food service industry. Yeah. I was a waiter and like mm-hmm. you learn these people skills. Yeah. And a lot of times, like when people find fame young at like 18, 19, yeah. they lose out on all that life experience and they're pretty that is awkward. True. And it happens honest. overnight now because of TikTok. Yes. Oh my gosh, so yes. People grow like millions of followers literally overnight. Yeah. They'll post yeah. a TikTok, wake up and it's yeah. like. Dude, I just yeah. went to uh, an Amazon trip and Half the girls there 19, 20 years old. Wow. And wow. I was yeah. like, fuck, am I getting old or are they just getting younger? <laughs> nah, bro. Yeah. Cats. Nah. I getting feel like they're getting, they're getting, they're getting younger. But they are getting younger. Getting younger. Yeah. And then also I noticed and like even Karen was talking to me about it. She went to an event and she goes, oh my God, it was like 80% TikTokers. Yeah. Uh, I just went to an event and it was literally 50% TikTokers. Yeah. 60. So, yeah. I mean, which, which is cool, right? I mean, I like I mean I'm, a tic- I'm a TikToker. Exactly. Like, yeah. I got that shit too. But there's a lot of people who weren't TikTokers or are not even in that uh, that boat right now and they're yeah. losing on opportunities. I We've told literally know. everyone we know every time get they, get people ask get us for advice all the yeah. time. We're mm-hmm. like, hey, well, you should be on TikTok. And the first it's thing no they brainer. say, I don't know how to work it. I'm like, oh, oh girl, shut up. You can figure that it's shit out. It's literally so, so user friendly. If you know how to use Instagram, if you know how to use any other social media platform, you can figure it out. You can figure it out. I'm like, if you want to do it, you'll do it. You're just rolling your eyes because it's a new piece of work you gotta put out yeah. there and mm-hmm. it sucks no, it is it. work though that's the it's thing work. that people yeah. don't really realize that you, it's work you know why people don't want to because they start off with zero yes yeah yeah and, and they don't want to have to rebuild that, like, yeah yeah uh-huh. they don't want to rebuild they don't want to look like they don't have any followers, followers. Like and i was talking to josh the other day i was like it doesn't matter where you start it no. matters where you end and keep going and yeah. it's the longevity yeah. that matters it's the longevity, it's longevity. that matters fuck yeah. the numbers i don't yeah. even like care about numbers anymore oh, no. really yeah. i'm just like i just want to continue to go and Manny, yeah. it's not even about numbers right laura like it's yeah. not about numbers mm-hmm. i've i've dealt with so many brands that they're like they, I, I meet them later um during the deal or whatever and they're all like look you have a good amount of followers um compared to other people that we hire that have millions mm-hmm. yeah it's all about engagement it is. and it's how you pre- and how you present their brand yeah right mm-hmm. you yeah. know what i mean right. so it's like they're like oh yeah you have x amount but this person has like 10 times more than you but you sell more yeah, yeah. you you mm-hmm. have better engagement and like i said you just have to present the brand so everybody back at home if you know because a lot of people they want to influence they want to be on social totally. media they want to create 
one advice is don't discourage yourself just because you start at zero you don't mm -hmm. have as many keep on going because it does that really doesn't matter no yeah, yeah. seriously no, not at all. and also the experience with the brand like how professional you are with them you yeah. know i feel like that matters a lot too right? oh like that was actually a hard lesson yeah. for me like stuff, yeah. i didn't grasp that concept whenever i started out because yeah. i was just like literally had never worked with brands before and i didn't really understand that i was like actually making an ad for them and like <laughs> i feel like i combated yeah. brands like mm -hmm. earlier on because i didn't understand remember we would always want to do our content like the way we wanted to do it which it does sell better whenever yeah. a brand gives you more freedom 100%. you can yeah, say sure. the stuff you want to say but I was more combative whenever I started because I didn't really grasp that concept till later on gotcha. and yeah. I was like oh okay I get it you want me to be professional yeah yeah, yeah. okay I was yeah. eating brands ass in the beginning to be quite honest because in the beginning yeah. like there was no like boys and beauty like weren't getting we didn't get brand deals like uh -uh. that was not a thing like wow. six yeah. or like seven eight years ago yeah so i remember i was like trying to always do like the most for yeah. these brands yeah. mm -hmm. to be like look like i'm not going away like i have good engagement like yeah. Yeah. it was like yeah. a lot of brands that it was like kind of a fad in the beginning interesting what was and your first brand deal? do you remember like what company it was it wasn't that I was getting brand deals in the beginning. It was more so like affiliate codes. Oh, so I had yeah. like a lot of affiliate codes oh, yeah. in the Same. beginning. Gotcha. Like Morphe and Gerard and like Gerard. all the Makeup Geek and like tons of different affiliate codes. That's yeah. how I, I started have. out too. And that's how I started was affiliate codes. It's crazy because I feel like back then people were not used to brand deals. So people would use the word like sell out and you just get a lot oh, of sure. yeah. for doing like brand deals oh, and stuff yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Back then it was like so frowned upon and people would do anything in the world to not say it's sponsored. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was like that was yeah. the culture, but now it's like yeah. whatever. Yeah, so accepted. I turned down uh, the first two brand deals I got when I was when I started back in 2012 mm -hmm. and I was like totally against it because I thought it was going to like tarnish my everything Your I know right and it wasn't until my manager he called me he was like Josh you got to do these brand deals <laughs> like you got to be able to sustain yourself like yeah. you're not working like this is all you're doing like you got to yeah. be able to continue to up your content and stuff and this is how you do it and I was like fine yeah. it was audiobooks and it was actually a oh, great really? deal yeah oh that's awesome hey, yeah. that's yeah. nice yeah. it is crazy that's when good. you get those deals and you're like I don't know what to do I know. how do yeah. I do like what? like in the beginning it's so mm -hmm. so hard to try yeah. to figure all that stuff out there needs to be a handbook yeah, for real there really should be a handbook yeah. for this yeah. seriously yeah. yeah we should write it we will, all, we will all write it. We will Everybody all has write it. Everybody has their own chapter. La Fou, it's going to be called La Foule. La Foule. <laughs> La Foule. <laughs> that is so amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, we actually have a new segment. Um, and I think mm. I want Josh to kind of talk to us. You want to you wanna try it on this one? I think I think we should, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. I think we should too. Um, yeah. All right. So this this <laughs> new segment that we, we want to try, it's, uh, uh, it's called Explain That Tweet. Yeah. Um, well, basically, we pull up a tweet from one of our guests, and then we ask him to kind of give us more context on like what this tweet uh, uh, consists of. And the person we picked was was you, Manny. I'm we so here. fucking happy. <laughs> Fuck. He be tweeting some crazy <laughs> stuff. I do have moments. I do. I okay, so I'm Twitter's gonna show fun. it to you. Laura Lee's like fuck. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> it's like no. And we'll show it on screen as well. Oh, on screen yeah. as well. But, yeah. I, hold on, before you do that, should I give him our, our gift? Uh, or not yet? Let's give him the gift afterwards. Okay, cool. Afterwards, yeah. depending on how he uh, takes it. So what okay, is cool. going yeah. on? Yeah. I'm scared. Right, What's yeah. going on? Dun, dun. Is so that your heart? Like, in my camera roll, so don't, don't scroll, okay? Just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> just <scroll Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, this is actually a tweet from you back in uh, 2020. Two years ago. Two years, two years, two years ago. ago. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I think it was like 2014. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, let's see. I couldn't wait for this. Read it out loud. Read it out loud. Okay, okay, I'm bitch, so fucking wanna, dead. We okay. all want to hear. So it's literally a photo of you. Yeah. <laughs> it's a photo of him. Uh huh. And it goes, I would love to see you in a Manny MUA video. <laughs> Who's, so who said a that? A random person said that. To okay, a random, random person. Yeah. And I respond, I'd love to do that too. Chapstick challenge. <laughs> So we didn't know what that meant, right? Yeah, so I was a little confused like, huh. by that. Chapstick challenge. Yeah, so yeah. so we have this. <gasps> oh my god, let me film it. <laughs> no, hold on, okay. I don't know. I'm so, so the chapstick challenge, I've done it before on the YouTube channel. Basically, what is the chapstick okay, challenge? Okay, the chapstick challenge is essentially you have a friend or a partner or someone in some capacity, put a chapstick on and they the other person doesn't know what it is. And so you kiss to find out what the chapstick flavor is. Oh, that's what that is. Got it. So I was fucking so around. Kissing. I was trying to. I was fucking around. Manny, games. did you know Josh at this point? 
I don't think so. Did you know him? I think we just met. No, him. definitely. We had definitely. Like, I don't know if we had met met, but I knew of you. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, yeah. I was I was being thirsty like, for sure. <laughs> it was more of a thirst tweet. I was like, no, we didn't know you like. We knew each other. <laughs> no, we did. You said you're pro- you. you said you were provocative a long time ago. Yeah, it was two years that's ago. That's kind of like okay, that's, well, kinda that's not even that's not even provocative to me. I'm talking real life provocative. That's nothing. I'll still do shit like that. Damn. But no, that was that was all the chapstick challenge. That is hilarious. I've done it before many not many times. I've done it once, but it was it did really well. Who'd you do it with? My friend Kyle. Gotcha. Got but he's it. he's gay, so it made yeah. sense. It was just us fucking around. When we were planning out this podcast with you guys, yeah, yeah. I was like, dude, I have a funny tweet from Manny. We got to bring it I up. I was surprised. I was like, <laughs> I oh, shit. I can't believe <laughs> that I even tweeted that. Actually, I can't believe it. But the guy, I can't believe you found it. I know. Wow. Sometimes, sometimes I'll be tweeting and I'm like, they'll never see this. I don't even no, care. it took me a minute. It took me a minute. <laughs> no, I'm, like, yeah. exactly. I'm like, they'll never see I this. I remember it's seeing fine. it and I remember like having a conversation with somebody about it. And Not then, two years ago. <laughs> I'm going to jump out the Damn, you are boy. This, right this was like pandemic, right? Okay, no, oh, wait, no, hello, uh, pandemic's thirsty today. You're still yeah. doing this right now. I Absolutely. can go through your Twitter. This is still actively going. Yeah, I, it's, it's, a sure it's, it's a good play. It's a good play. I think it's it is funny. Yeah, it's hilarious. Cause I see you do that on TikTok, right? It's, like you'll like, kind of respond to played, people's. Yeah. Yes, I think that like if it's all in good fun, like I don't even care. I as long as someone's not feeling uncomfortable. No, I feel like felt like someone feel uncomfortable. I'll back off, of course. I thought it was hilarious, but I think it's like all in good fun. Yeah, I know. We were talking about. I'm like, bro, we gotta bring it up. I hate you guys. Have you ever done it, like a video where you like respond to somebody or like like that? Wait, like you've done like on TikTok. You know, have you done like the yes, where you yes. like paint your face like yes, uh, a watermelon? Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Has that ever worked? Like, have you ever got like people like that hit you up afterwards and and be like, hey, what's up? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh no, definitely not. No. Really? And, and honestly, they might have, but like whenever I do videos like that, like because that one they went like off. baby viral like on yeah, yeah. IG. So I was like, I like literally can't even see any of that. Like Damn. all yeah. my DMs would be flooded yeah. with yeah. stuff. The comments, like I would never be able to see people all like it. talking about it. And sharing yeah, and like it. a lot and of sh- had like it. crazy shares on it. I remember yeah. showing Laura. I had the like three hundred thousand shares. The watermelon one? Yeah. The watermelon oh, wow. one. So fun. How so many like views did it get? 15 million. 15 so I know it definitely views. was like, okay. Isn't that it crazy how like, viral stuff goes on yeah. TikTok? It's insane. It that is. was on IG Reels. What? So I was oh. even more gagged that it went viral wow. on IG Reels. That that uh, video alone woke IG up. It did. It, it, it stunned did. IG. Said, oh. It was like, <laughs> and I've been growing ever since. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I followers every day since. Because <laughs> yeah. Instagram, I feel like it's hard to grow now. It's it is. So yeah. real. I'm sorry. It is. I mean, impossible. compared to TikTok, especially. Yeah, it's insane. TikTok's we just saw, pretty easy. Yeah, we just saw La Platica TikTok. <gasps> yeah, clips. Yeah. Wow, oh, I love and, it. And and for the amount of followers that we have, it's growing every day. But I'm telling Josh, like Josh, like should I put it on Reels and TikTok? I'm like. Post it everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. If you See, can. I tend yeah. to overthink my content everywhere. a lot. And yeah. he's just like, dude, just post it. I'm like, yeah. all right, fine. And then yeah. they're like, do great. You and just never know. Everybody says this all the time. It's like, it's always the ones that we didn't expect it to be big. That's it's the ones us. that got big. Right? That's the shit we But say. it's true. It's true. But it actually true. is true. The it shit that true. we post and by the numbers that we have right now, like they're... TikTok's algorithm is really good. I think. I think it's hundred yeah, percent. It is yeah, good. Yeah, it's good. I couldn't agree more. Because it's helping us grow the page like yeah. super fast. We just started TikTok what, uh, like a week ago. A week and a half ago, yeah, yeah. and it's just like booming still. I love, I love TikTok. That. Now I'm like, should we do a full coverage one? You guys it's should. Just, it's you guys. It's hard. We have to balance so many things. I know. Yeah, it's too much. It really is so hard. Like you. Need hopefully, more. hopefully we can keep it up because yeah. right now I feel 100%. like like Laura we said, we're on fire. Yeah. yeah. So we have a system. Keep yeah. them So hopefully, yeah. Do you guys ever have to do that? Like keep each other like like hey come on, or like hey not like, like, like come on, but I'll definitely be like oh like this is what we have going on like just to remind you more of a reminder gotcha. and she'll remind me of stuff gotcha. but we'll never be like I feel like get it every done. week though we Thank go God. through the calendar because me That's and him why. are so intertwined with like uh, you know stuff. any event you see him at you see me mm-hmm. at so like we always go together and then like we have a lot of calls together podcasts together mm-hmm. and we're working on some stuff right now together so we're very aware and you guys but, seem very organized yeah, yeah I'm getting organized by we some are. guys I have my moments. We're businessy. That, that's, I think that's you what it is. Like, we're so like podcast. aware. Literally, that's, that's it. That's the checks. That's yeah. it. Like, okay, wow. but that, like, that's how like the outlining really helps. Po- that's just like even a random yeah. thing. Like outlines really do I know, help yeah. for the podcast. Yeah, yeah. We kind of do it on our phone, but the, having like the board when right there. When you write it like, down, yeah. it's so different. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. There's something but about it sticks in your head. Do you have the whiteboard? Um, hosted up. Boom. Posted when you have guests? Um, yes, because like, we have questions. Have questions written down. Yeah, okay. we'll have mm-hmm. their questions written down. And then so what we'll do is we'll like if the guest is sitting there, we'll put it there so they can't see the questions. Yeah. So we can like ask them the questions along the way. Mm-hmm. So what's one thing that like, you know, having full coverage, what has it like fulfilled your like happiness? What's that one thing that like you really love about having a podcast? I think I, think I like about it is because I feel like my YouTube videos are typically kind of themed. Like this is what we're reviewing today. This is what mm-hmm. we're talking about today. And I feel like full coverage is finally an outlet for people
censor ourselves on podcasts. Like it's more coverage. raw. It's, it's more raw. It's more raw. raw. And I think that's the cool thing about podcasts. Yeah. Like you can yeah. be a little bit more like deep with it. Like I'll talk mm-hmm. about like crazy experiences I've dealt with. I don't really will talk about my other platforms. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. But I'll do it with Laura on the because it's like such a real relationship that yeah. I just say whatever I want to say and people are included in it. And it has to be raw. It has to be raw. Yeah. Speaking of something raw. so that made me cringe so hard, you guys are gonna die. So my eighteen year old niece when we're at the beach, she keeps on like bugging me and she's like, should I get a tattoo, should I get a tattoo? And I'm like, no, I'm like, just wait till you're like at least in your 20s so you'll mm-hmm. regret it for less amount of time yes. <laughs> because yes. you're gonna regret it either yeah. way. Uh-huh. Like yeah. eventually you're gonna regret yeah. it. And then she pulls down her swimsuit and she has the worst fucking tattoo ever. Oh, she you got, got it? Yes, got it? yes. So what she is was it? like, it's. Is it a butterfly? It's worse. A peace sign. <laughs> no. Barbed wire. No, I would appreciate the barbed wire. Uh, a heart. No. Is it's, it something like generic? It's, it's, corn. it's LLL for live, laugh, love. I think my and mom that has that. The episode. And, that is, and that is all we have time And for we're going to go ahead and close the episode. Live, and it's laugh, pretty love. big. The L- 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 it's large? The, the L's are probably like that. LLL and it's large. And my brand's name is Laura Lee Los Angeles. That's what I, so that's I'm what like, I was. Did you think that immediately? When immediately. You saw it? Okay. I, I was like, like that is not. so weird, dude, yeah, yeah. that you would get my brand. And she so was like, live, laugh, love, love. I was like, now it's home goods. It's worse. It got, it, it worse. got, it got worse. It just got worse. But you I, know what? Like ma- she, ma- maybe her generation finally recycled yeah. how when it first started Just that like live the barbed wire. Laugh, like the barbed wires are making the comeback. The bar- yeah. See, that's why I was right. like, I wouldn't mind the barbed wire because yeah. it yeah. made a comeback. I mean, what do you do in a situation like that? Like, I mean, just let it be, right? L- I let it be. Of course. I mean, I we've all, be. Be. We've all been there. You'll regret it eventually. I let it be. I just said, you know, that's you. Good that's for on you. you. Do any of you guys have tattoos? You do? Mm-hmm. I have four. I have four. I have a bad tramp stamp. Like from, from when I was really? my niece's uh, age, I got a really bad tramp stamp. I wish it's it was one I wish it was LLLA. I wish. I wish it was. It's not. I made a mistake at 18. And so when wow. my 18 year old niece showed me hers, I was like, mm. She's such a good girl, though. She is. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, it's there's like, so much worse. Yeah. There's, there's so much worse. I've Do you regret? Do you have any tattoos you regret? No. No? Oh, okay. I like all mine. But you yeah. waited. But I, but I, I exactly, gotcha. I waited until I was like about 25 Do you, yeah. do you have yeah. any you regret? You got a lot going on. I, 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 I do have do? Uh, one that I regret. Do yeah, I was I was 18 years old. It's always eight. Yeah. 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 Really well, yeah can I kind of guess which one it is? Yeah. Is it the California one? Why do you regret it? Is it the California here? It's like, no, it's like, Below my oh, waist belt. Yeah, I know uh, exactly which one it is. Above my, you know. Yes. I regret it as in like, maybe I should have thought more about it. But when you're 18, it's like, whatever. It's, it's not whatever. that bad, bro. There's worse. There's much worse. Yeah. Yeah. You could have yeah. like, But I feel like that's like the men's trans, tramp stab, right? It definitely. is the men's tramp right there. Yeah. Right there. That's definitely mm-hmm. the men's It's going to be crazy because like, well, if I go to the restroom or things like that, I never see it until I really want to think about it. And they're like, oh, it's right there. Uh, mine's on my back. I can't even see right? mine. I've Literally. told multiple people I, I don't have a tattoo because I forgot that I yeah. got one. It's weird. I haven't seen it since I was 18. Yeah. Mine's, I mine's like it. this big and it's in red. It's the license plate. You know how it says California red? Yes. Exact same thing. I would rather have that on my yeah. lower back. I'm gonna Wait. be honest. <laughs> Wait, what is it? What, what's, I don't it's think a I, Bible verse. It's a Bible verse. Yes, it would took me to another level. Everyone shocked every time I'll I say it. I'll take the triple L over a Bible verse okay. on that one. I or, will the say. or the California. It's the whole the California. verse, or is it just like the? It's just the John three sixteen. Okay, so it's you, pretty big though. It's not. It's, it's not like size, this. It's say. like. A doozy. So do you know the actual Bible verse? Like, do you? I do. Okay, okay. I do. Come on. Okay, okay. So when you and Tyler are getting freaky deaky, he's just reading a paragraph or what? Yeah. <laughs> it's been like that since he met me. <laughs> 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 I'm going to ask him if he knows 316. <laughs> oh, he he's knows 316, never, my boy. <laughs> he's never known any different. He's never. <laughs> never experienced anything else. I started else. dating him at 19. It's I got it when of, I was 18. Of your but you better body. believe every fucking day of my senior year, my lower back was out. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Honey. honey. Low rise yeah. jeans the whole time. Low rise yeah. jeans. I, I had to make sure because that was my cool moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> that is I'm happy that you had a cool moment with that. That is like everywhere. It's like a pretty popular one. I know they have it like underneath like the In N Out cups and stuff like that. Oh, right? yeah. 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 Which is so wild. And like Chick fil A as well. And, I don't know. And Tyler me. should get an In N Out cup tatted on him. Yeah. yeah. Just to really go there. <laughs> Tyler got an Xbox tattoo. Is it really any better? Oh, it's PlayStation. Oh, yeah. oh, but it's cute though. It's PlayStation. The little uh, one here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I get cute. it. I, get I like it. that tattoo. Yeah, it's really kind of cute. Didn't like Squid Games kind of have like similar. Yeah, I first saw it. Squid Games or PlayStation? He's like, mm-hmm. both. He told everyone it was Squid Games for Did a while. He? I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's cute, mm-hmm. though. It's like simple. It's like right there. Do you yeah. have any regrets? So I got this one, this lightning bolt. I had mm-hmm. a mentor who had this. And this okay. is actually my first, I guess, like, 
oh, it's my first and only big piece. Okay. And I remember the next day I woke up, I regretted it. <gasps> the no! next day. The next day I woke up. I, yeah, <gasps> I was like all about it when I got it. And I remember I, I could literally visualize myself there. And then like I woke up, did the stretch, and I was like, why did I do that? Who was this mentor? Yeah. The Flash? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's the really Flash. Fast. Can, you my, your, can you share it tattoo on the camera? Like, who should I show it to? Here. Oh, you're good. There, you're good. We, go. there right we go. Right there. Oh. Nice. And then yeah. do you have other tattoos other than that one? So, uh, yeah, I got this other little, little yeah. uh, muscle guy. I was um, doing this. Yeah, when mm-hmm. I hit 100,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel, That's my cool. YouTube channel used to be called Yo Muscle Boy when I first yeah. started. Okay. Like, yeah, so that was kind of like the little the little mm-hmm. symbol for it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's cute. Me and Dang. um, me and Manny were talking about how you used to watch his videos, right? Like back mm-hmm. in the day. Back in the day, like wow. when you were Chola vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And we said like Galo is like our favorite. Yes, too. yeah, it's the best. Yeah, that was. Uh, yeah. So many people. Like it's different times now. Though. <laughs> for, sure, for sure. I always kind of like. <laughs> I, 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 I was, was like, different times. Weird, now. I'm like in the auger. I'm like, yeah, yeah. You're I'm like, like yeah, yeah. yeah. Good <laughs> 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 no, I used to do like a Chola thing back in the day too. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Laura, you need to watch this video. Like, send her the link. I will. Please, it's crazy because I didn't get a I lot will. of hate on it then. No, of course not. Okay. Like, yeah, 2013, 2014. Yeah, please don't. But if I did that Just now, podcast would... with the only Galo. Yeah, Galo, I love it. <laughs> this would get shut down quick. If I like drop this, that character now. Yeah, yeah. It just wouldn't work. It just, it it just different time. It's yeah. different time. I discovered you because one of our close friends had a big crush on you. Yes, And that's whenever she kept talking about uh-huh, this Josh I remember, guy. I remember. And I'm like, who's was Josh? This no, Josh? No, 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 no. This is uh, deep, deep, deep. deep. Oh, this is a deep thought. I would say that maybe like five years ago. You know who it is, but years ago? I won't say. Yeah, I yeah. won't say For that camera. person's sake. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But you know who it is. Four or five years ago. Four or five years ago. Are they an influencer? Yes, oh, yes, okay. yes, 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 yes. We'll, talk, we'll talk about yes. it later. <laughs> yeah, and that's whenever I discovered you. Uh huh. Uh huh. I discovered you a hundred years ago, and you too. Yeah. With Karen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It'd be like that. Mm-hmm. You guys and all you met were... in the social media space as well. Yeah. Yeah. I gotcha. I think yeah. I met you guys in Bora Bora, right? Oh my God! I think <gasps> so. Was it then? Yeah, I think so. Is that probably when you met right? Him too? Huh? Is that when you met him as well? I think so. Uh, were me and you close then? Oh. Not as close. Mm-mm. We had a little. We had some separation of church and state going on. Mm, I know what you're With talking about. With some friendships, yeah. Some mm. friendships were mm-hmm. not allowing you to be my friend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. And I was Ma- like, no, Manny- we're like, we're gonna be friends. <laughs> <laughs> Whispering as we're across the table, we're gonna be friends. Just hiding notes. Don't you worry. Literally. Literally. Making notes each other. Literally. I was like, don't you worry, we're gonna be friends. Did you Just guys wait. ever like beef it, or were you guys always kind of like? No, we've never, never beef. Mm-hmm. Damn. Okay. Been, like Mm-mm. still to this day, we've never gotten into a fight. Really? No. Any no. like uh, like tension? Never like tension. But I feel like we don't because like literally we're very straight up. Gotcha. Yeah, we like, both we're very like, hey. like verbal with one yeah. another. Yeah. Like yeah. honestly, probably too verbal. We fight like brothers and sisters more oh, so. Right. You yeah. know how it means like you'll say what you need to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yes. dumb fucking bitch. Yes. And then we'll laugh at each other. But it's because it's not even like we never have any like serious like things yeah. that are like going on because like both of us are so chill mm-hmm. yeah. that a lot of things like don't bother us in that mm-hmm. way if that makes sense mm-hmm. like you know a lot of friends that like bicker a lot like they usually type that like have a lot of things like oh my god that's so annoying and they're just like those people mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. neither of us are like that so yeah. we're just like kind of mm-hmm. chilly back yeah. what about you guys have you guys ever beefed it not, not even never close. right no, see that's how, how we how are yeah. and you guys have been friends for so many years yeah. that's how we yeah. are it's and gonna be interesting because we're obviously gonna be spending more time together now so mm-hmm. let's yeah. see if that, that but do you really, see that uh, no not at all i don't see it either yeah. hopefully yeah. we'll just know it's possible to not it's yeah. so possible yeah. to not it is yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. i don't I mean, see what we would potentially fight about but then you never know i feel like that's kind yeah of how you see it in the beginning unless you take my chair i will <gasps> and your sign oh! <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you're taking, you're taking right. right now. <laughs> I already told you that's my I fucking know. sign. Yeah, yeah, we'll see about that. That stays. <laughs> uh-huh. well, we're gonna go on a quick little break again, and then I have a couple more things to ask you guys, and then we'll be right back. Yeah. Perfect. That was thirty minutes already. Again, bro. Damn. Wow. Um, so I had a, uh, one more question for Laura. I'm, I don't know if you know this, but I'm actually getting married next year. <gasps> I had no yeah, idea. You are. Yeah, so. Congratulate. Are you going to ask Go me to be a groomsman? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't think you want to. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to survive scared. that. I've seen, I've seen what goes yeah. down. Yeah, no. Um, so any like tips? I know you've been married with Ty for such a long time. And every time mm-hmm. I see you guys, I... I've always, I always even tell Karen, I'm like, they have such a good relationship. And I know there's probably like times for you, there's bickering and things like we that. We bicker. Obviously. We bicker. I do too. 
But what's like those like three things that just kind of like three pointers? Yeah, three pointers that I can just like keep in my back pocket, save Ooh. in my wallet, and just mm-hmm. you know. I like this. When I'm in trouble, I'll just open up the note and be like, "Laura Lee said this." <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay, we have a good relationship, me and Ty. Wouldn't you say? Hundred percent. Of I think course. we have a really good like relationship. We've relationship. been together for, I think, 14 years Whoa. since high school. Wow. Yeah, I met him when I was 19, and we were literally the same height. And then I have pictures, and then not anymore though. Not anymore. And then he grew up overnight, literally. And he moved away, went to college. We stayed together, moved to California together. But he's really easy to get along with. I yeah, feel like yeah I'm he's chill. super easy. Yeah. 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 Ty is like swift. the chillest. He's like my best white dude yeah yeah mm-hmm. like i always tell him like good. you're my number one white guy <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't forget that don't ever forget he's, very special. he's actually on my on my softball team too yeah. I, I think people know and i was like i invited him i was like you, you're gonna come on like i want you to be on p- part of my team and he goes would i be the only white guy and i said you fucking bet your ass you are <laughs> And he is. He's like, and like, he is. All right, I'm I watched him yeah. now. He literally is. <laughs> he don't know a thing 100%. that is said on that team. I'm just kidding. So he is really <laughs> <laughs> Dude, and like he's been hanging out with me like I, I think now for like what the past year or two. Yeah. Yeah. And like bro, like I'll see him like fuck is that on your hat he has like a michelada pin on no way <laughs> Thank you. And I'm like, that. you're so mexican now <laughs> yeah suddenly <laughs> he'll text me and he'll be like what's up perro <laughs> <laughs> you haven't told you that i don't know what that means it's like it's a dog. 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 okay yeah, yeah, yeah. okay okay yeah, it's hilarious <laughs> wow. but what else what else okay okay listen i would say communication is key yeah mm. like it is the solver of all fights if you communicate it to begin with got it That's which like, i feel like you, you're really good at so I, yeah i, feel like I, really I can well. be better for sure yeah, karen yeah. watching this you know i can be better yeah <laughs> mm. <laughs> anybody could right yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah i think i'm i think i'm pretty good and, and, and you know what i think it's a lot to do with respect yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like yeah. you gotta respect your partner to the fullest in order to to give her that communication. Yeah. Because if you don't respect your partner that much, you know, you're just going to be like, I don't need to tell her. Or yeah. Walk all over them. Yeah. yeah. doing whatever. Mm-hmm. It literally solves all our fights when we communicate. Also, wait, I just forgot I had one. Sorry. I had <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> when Laura forgets something, she looks at me yeah, like, I remind did. me. I'm what was like, I thinking? What was <laughs> <it>? <laughs> I'm like, I, this no, one, I, I had another me. really good one I thought. You got me on oh, this one. The yeah. dr- lose the need to be right, but that's on both Ooh, parts. Pride. That's yeah. on both parts. I, I agree a thousand percent. Humility goes a long way. In friendships, like the pride thing. Yeah. It's the pride thing in relationships. Yeah. It's hard. No, it's hard, though. Yeah. And we're, which, uh, well, Karen's Latina, but we're not very jealous of each other mm-hmm. it's in karen's dna latinas are yeah you know in nature mm-hmm. in nature i learned myself, that in I california like i like because you're talking yeah. yeah. right, right. right. it's hot it's hot it's hot yeah but i will say that's one of the reasons me and ty didn't fight throughout the younger years yeah. you know when you're clubbing and going out we never fall it's because we're Both very not caucasian jealous. and not very jealous <laughs> yeah. we're like whatever i don't give a fuck like don't yeah. care are you jealous of us yeah, I, are you? I think in the very beginning Sometimes. of my relationship, I'm also it's in my DNA. I'm yeah, Latin, it is. I'm, Latin, I'm Mexican, so yeah. I think you you get a little jealous sometimes. Yeah. But now, yeah. oh my god, not at all, not no. at all, yeah. at all. And I think both. I've never seen him be jealous. Both yeah. both partners have to be like I think confident as well. Yeah, that's yeah. so true. Yeah. That's totally why. That's, I feel like that's so true. Because yeah. I think Karen's very confident in herself, and that's hot. Yeah, guys, confidence is like the sexiest thing you can it wear. Is. And then I th- I feel like I'm super fucking confident too. Mm-hmm. a little too confident maybe a little too arrogant no it's just, i'm not arrogant but yeah i think it's just being, being confident i think that works out that too does. yeah that and, and like you were saying like just um letting that pride down that yeah. guard down and just being like okay even if i was right or wrong what are we gonna do about it right i learned mm-hmm. that in a self-help book it's like every human's need to be right and it even broke it down and like whenever someone you say a word wrong and someone jumps to correct you even though yeah. we all knew what you meant or you spell something it's the human need to be right it's uh, i'm right i'm right so like we have it in our dna all of us like more than we even could ever imagine the need to be right so like ever since i read that i've like caught myself so many times i'm like oh my god this is me just needing to be right all the time and we Mm -hmm. catch other people me and ty do it just like always it can be a bad habit it's just a habit because this is a human nature you always want to be right and it's the same thing with some of our beliefs we don't want to change them because then we would have to admit we were wrong we want to be right yeah yeah. that's good so yeah. yeah yeah Yeah. Tweet that. That's a tweet. <laughs> it's a tweet. That could be a tweet. It is a tweet. The other day, Sebastian told me, he's like, you should tweet that. Because I can't remember what it was. 
And that you said something about there's no such thing as dumb questions. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. there's no such thing, just dumb people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I told yeah. Sebastian that. And he's like, take that. And I was like, I will, and I'll dedicate it to you. <laughs> no, okay. Sebastian said. All right, let me tell you. I, I hit him up and I'm like, hey, just confirm me tomorrow at 3. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And then he goes, yeah, are we filming in your room? And then I was oh, like, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't, fucking I, duh. Yes, and I was like, I don't know why I even asked that question. Was and like, he was like, wow, that was a dumb question, Manny. And we yeah. literally came so like yesterday so for like two, three hours just to clean up this whole place. And yeah. Yeah. That's no. what he said. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 Do you guys throw a fucking rager in here? <laughs> yes. Pretty much. Yeah, just us two. We're, just trying to, we're just trying to make it presentable. It's a man cave. Yeah, you know? it's a man cave. It looks good. I feel like this is a man's dream. Like, I feel like every guy wants a podcast and then you guys got it vibed out. Every man's dream. That's what said about because he wanted to change it up when I came onto the podcast, I'm like, bro, this is incredible. Yeah, I was, so I was so being a good host, and I was like, if there's anything you want to yes, change, Josh, course. like you're a part of the platica. And if we did. Anything we you ch- want we to changed do. one thing. We changed. <laughs> we literally just scooted the couch. A little <laughs> over. And that's it. That's it. And, that's it. and we added it. this thing like right over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. I love just it. Just a little touch. Nice. I had a little galo back there yeah. too. Just a little. <gasps> I love it. Even even um. I love it. Even like before Josh and I started um I started La Platica, I basically just wanted to create a room that I couldn't have at my house. <laughs> exactly and we were able to give you that Sebastian yeah exactly <laughs> I love you. that it looks great it looks I think so in sick in here yeah. no I used to have it at my house but Which, um, by the way that wasn't a bad set man. it was I, really I love I, I never saw it at yeah. your house no yeah it's almost the same it was kind of the same yeah but it's, yeah but it's you better. know it's like it's like you got the gardeners you got oh, the dogs yeah. barking. Yeah. You got the dogs barking when when someone's at the door. Mm-hmm. I don't want to have random people all over my house either you know what I mean it was just a lot nicer just to have your own room so when I got um the chance to be here, I think. Mm-hmm. And the I Landies, yeah. I love it. With the Landies. With the Landies. My landies over here. He calls us the Landies. Yeah. I get so many, after you do that, so many people are like, what do they call you? Landies. I'm like, it's a long What's story. A I'm yeah. like, What's hey, Landy. <laughs> Hi, Landy. <laughs> yeah. My landlord. Yeah, no, mm, makes sense. Got it. The Landy. <laughs> What's a Landy? Yeah. The Landies. And then I call Tyler Wh- Mr. Wiggles all Mr. the time. Mr. Wiggles. Mm-hmm. Mr. Wiggles. I get yeah. a lot the, of the questions The story behind that name is hilarious. It's so funny. It is. But yeah, I think that's... um. We're gonna wrap, wrap it up. up? Yeah. Any last that's words? Man. You guys have to come on to our next that's one. Yeah, you guys can come on ours. Yeah. Yeah. For the words to come, you come on ours. Okay. We, we would love that. But I, actually, I was going to say one more thing. Say it, dude, say it. What, Manny, what, what do you look into when, when you want to find somebody and, and, and a partner? What, what are you wanting Why the to? Fuck do, everyone wants to ask me this. Well, I, people want to know. I don't think you've the given, I don't, I don't think you've the given the answer. Two gay listeners want to know. As a straight guy, uh-huh. I think you're a catch. Oh, he is a catch. Thank catch. you. Has his shit together. Mm-hmm. Has a sick ass pad. Never mm-hmm. been to it, by the way. But sick I think it's car. Sick Thank ass you. car. Sick ass car exercises Mm -hmm. and fuck Mm -hmm. all those four things great personality great heart and fuck I, that, he's wealthy. He's rich. Yeah. You guys, honestly, I get over guys really fast. Yeah, it's he like does. a big problem picky? of mine. He gets the ick. I I get the ick really quickly, mm-hmm. and like if they don't keep my attention fast, then I'll get over him really quick. Mm-hmm. Oh. And I think it's like, I don't know. There's just something about me where it's like I I feel like because I think I'm a catch. Mm-hmm. I do. You are. I, I think yeah. that I'm a catch, and so I don't want to like settle for something because yeah. I'm so happy being alone. Like not yeah. alone, but like yeah, yeah. I'm it, fine with being single. Like, yeah, I like don't care. Routine, I live my life. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm happy. So if someone's gonna come into my life, I needed them to give to my life. That's the way. And so that must be that really point. hard. And to it's find, hard yeah. when like you know I'm at the level that I'm at. But being in the in the creator space and being in it for such a long time, mm-hmm. don't you think there would have been somebody that has probably kind of like it's kind of like neck and neck with you i feel like when it comes to like you know being in the beauty world mm-hmm. i'm not into like, the other male beauty creators got it so it's hard to find because i'm not like i'm not interested in yeah. them because they're my, they become my friends so it's All like right. when I, once i have like this like friendship with someone i'm not like thinking about yeah. Yeah. potentially you growing more something intimate. more yeah. yeah i'm not into yeah. like something more so i'm like oh well they're just like my good judies or my girls got so once it. i see like if i see you as like my girl Chances are high I'm not trying to fuck. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like I'm like, oh, you're my bitch. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So that's kind of why. Cause I'm like, oh, okay, well, in the space I'm in, there's not as many options for me that I would be into. So um, are you on dating apps? Like, how are you? Dating? I have a hinge. Okay. I have a hinge and I have a Raya. Gotcha. So oh, Raya, I've never heard of them. Raya's like, it's like, it's like for kind of people. like an industry, like a celebrity. Oh, really? like, yeah, like, there's like, so many qualified. roles to get in. You, you can't, can't just shut up. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It's way harder for guys. 
Oh, really? Is it? I, I, I believe. I'm I mean, sure. I that's, that's anything. I believe. Yeah. Not that I'm <laughs> that's anything. Like, anything like clubs. Not that I like, try to get in it or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Just as for the application. I've heard, heard of it. I applied four times already? <laughs> yeah, literally. And you have to like, reject for it, it. everything. Yeah. It's oh, wow. Yeah, you pay like, a, like for every six months. You pay for so it. So it's like oh. a LinkedIn, but for dating, kind of? Yeah. No, oh. literally, it's like with like other perfect. Like I see people, like other influencers on there. I'll see like athletes. other actors on there, athletes, all that. Yeah, I had this conversation I forgot with who, and I was like, I got with Karen when none of this existed, mm -hmm. so I've never Same. done any of the dating apps. Same. Nothing. I feel like it's, it's so bitch. easy yeah. for somebody single just to like meet people now. Hundred percent. Even just on social other than media. just like Instagram, okay. right? Yeah. But like the fact yeah. that you're on a dating app and it's just like when you're on it and then you find somebody, it's like both he or she or he and he, she and she, they know what's up already. Totally. Yeah. You know? It's also hard because like I hide who I am when I'm on dating apps. Got it. And I know that? it's not good. Like, but I do. Like, I don't talk about the fact that I'm an influencer. But and you I'm have your picture anyway. up and everything, right? I do, right? but I'm not glam. My audience is 92% women. A lot of times, like, they don't oh. know who I am immediately. Yeah. But the thing is, if I talk about that, a lot of times people have absolutely got intimidated by what I do and think it's strange. They're like not into it. I can see that. It. Yeah, they're not into it. I can see and that. And they're not into yeah. the fact that I glam either, like for work. Yeah. That's another aspect of it. It's like, there's like a lot Wait, of toxic what? masculinity. What do you mean? There's a lot of toxic masculinity in the gay world. Like and they it's don't like, like the glam. They don't like the glam. They don't, they're oh. like, oh, well, like, that's not masculine mm -hmm. enough. Or like, that's not like cool enough. I mean, mind you, if a guy says that, I'm, I'm like, fuck yeah, you, yeah. I don't even Whatever, care. Yeah. And I'm not into guys like that. But that's a part of like the journey of navigating gay dating. And not only the gay dating, it's gay dating as an influencer. Oh. Um. Who glams? Mm -hmm. Very that. well. Well. Ooh. And who could look stunning if they tried? <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah. That's so dumb that like people are jealous or like insecure about that. I know it's hard. So and I, I think it's tough because like you see my house, you see my car, you see all these different things in my life. And if they're like, let's say, not at that point, it yeah. can be a little, not off-putting, but I think it's a little like, oh, fuck. Like, okay, like you got shit going on. Or like if I'm on a date and I get recognized on a date, and the guy doesn't even know what I do necessarily, that's a really awkward conversation as well. That has to be well. a trip. Like, what the it fuck? It is. It's what, they're that? like, oh, well, like, what was that? And I was yeah. like, oh, like, I do stuff online too. And I'll just like, kind of throw it in there. Mm -hmm. To see how they react. I don't, yeah, just see how they react. Because I don't want them to feel intimidated immediately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, we'll get there. Let me get there. Let me get there. Let me build you up a little bit. Yeah, I need you to be like shook immediately. That's actually really kind. Even if you do find somebody and they kind of fit your needs, like, you know, being neck and neck with you and they're not going to bring you down or anything like that it must still be hard because the life that you live is just like such one of a kind that it's like yeah. do i really want him to be in my life like oh not, like as, a, as in like he will reap the benefits of oh, being yeah. with me you 100%. know what i mean so it must yeah. be hard because you really want to choose that right person like even like that even that comes with like friendships too like it's like literally every yeah, relationship yeah, yeah. in my life yeah it's not yeah it's, it's not like just... i like laura knows like I'm not, i don't bring like friends around with, with laura like mm -hmm. i'm like they're like laura's like my crew and like if i bring a friend i'm like no i actually fuck with them like i like them a lot so yeah. like, I'll introduce, you like cj and, for yeah, example yeah. like i trust them i really like them i feel like they benefit to our life yeah. but if i again i feel like in some way like they're trying to take away from me or i've been on dates with the guys with like we should collab after oh uh, hell no yes back in the day i went on dates and they're like oh like um, we should totally By the collab. way, <laughs> yeah. he, he's like, I'm actually Not, vlogging tonight. And I had no idea that they knew who I was. Chapsy oh. Chow. So like, that's a little, <laughs> exactly, a little chappy. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And yeah. people back at home, uh, um, we're not saying this as in like, oh, you're going to reap the benefits of being with me. Or like trying to be like arrogant, but that just goes with anything in life. Like you got to hang out with people that, that not, I don't want to say benefit, but help you out and you help them out mm -hmm. and you guys do positive things together. Mm -hmm. And I've talked about it before, I think on another podcast, like you can't kick it with people that just bring you down or they're no. not doing anything. Like you have to be motivated when you hang out. Mm -hmm. You know exactly. what I mean? And you're very ambitious. And yeah. So ambitious. it's like and you're looking for someone who's very ambitious, but mm -hmm. not looking to suck you dry. Like it's no, a genuine, totally. you're looking for a genuine relationship. And I don't sometimes it's hard daddy. to find whenever no. you're in this industry, the genuine yeah. relationships where it's not about being a sugar Or daddy. if we're at the same level and things are going great, I don't think yeah. they're attractive. Uh, and I'm like, what? Okay, great. What? No, no, I'm not saying like that. I'm dating, like, let's say there's someone that's like at that level, and I'm like, oh, well, I'm not attracted to you, so I'm gotcha. not Physical, interested. Mm -hmm. uh, Physically attracted. Gotcha. Like, okay. Even if there's someone at that level where we're like, oh, we're neck and neck. Okay. Like, okay, well, I'm not great. interested in you. Yeah. Okay. So that's just wow. another one bites the dust. I'm really interested on where we're all going to be at like five, ten years from now. Oh, that's we got to run so this podcast back for sure. Oh yeah. yeah, you'll be married probably with kids. I see that. <gasps> yeah, kids. Oh, yeah. oh well, I told Karen like once I get married like next year with her, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, like I want kids right away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Get it done. Yeah, 
Yeah. So, because wow. I need I need my little spawn. Yeah. He or she, I need my little mini me. Yeah. yeah. Mini. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's the ultimate thing you can do in life is to create one of your own, right? Mm. Yeah. So yeah, I want to see you guys with kids too. One day, I'm putting it off as long as I possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am. I am. I want to mm-hmm. see a little wiggly. I love <laughs> life. I love life without kids. I know. I know. It's yeah. so good. It's like it's, life is it's so the best. good. Trust, it's the best. It's Trust me. Amazing. It's so I see people with to. kids, and yeah. I'm like, I'm so happy for them, but I'm like, damn, that's a lot. That's I know. It's a lot. And it's okay to think like that. Cause Absolutely. You need to put yourself, you need to prioritize yourself and your life and you need to enjoy this life that we only have once, right? That's how I feel. I feel yeah. like life is which so is, short. Which is completely correct. But I do feel like once you have a kid, your mentality is just going to sure be that's completely what I hope. different. That's what I'm, I'm hopeful sure things for. change for sure. Oh, it's going to change completely. Crazy. I would love that for me. Yeah, Maybe seriously. So like, I'd be like, wow. That's yeah. Gonna change. <laughs> yeah. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining La Platica. Thank you for having us. Yes. Of course. Oh my gosh. This, this isn't going to be the last time. No, yeah. absolutely not. Next time. You guys so. are actually our first guest that we ever had together. Yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, and that was, that was host. Yeah. amazing. That was yeah. great. I was telling, I was like, it has to be our, our, our neighbors. It's yeah. my neighbor. Neighbor. It's only right. It's kind of perfect. Yeah, it's kind of perfect. Yeah. It's kind of perfect. So, kind of yeah. Great. Um, thank you so much. Guys, back at home, I hope you guys enjoyed the podcast. Once again, you can listen to us on, not Shopify, but Spotify. Yes. <laughs> and Apple Podcasts or here on the wonderful world of YouTube. And once again, you are listening to... That's so cool. Estás escuchando la platica. I die for that. <laughs> he looks so cool doing it. He's like, he's like, I know. Like, like a DJ, right? <laughs> With the headset and yeah. everything. <laughs> guys, we love you guys. Y nos vemos en la próxima platica. Bye, Thank you Bye, guys, guys again. Woo.